Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka OGB Reacts. I'm a first time movie reactor here on YouTube, posting every Friday. The movie that I'm watching today is one of those films where I've heard about it before, I have heard how good it is, and how it's one of those movies where you need to watch it, but I really have no idea what it's about other than it's a war movie and I believe it's about the Vietnam War. But in terms of story and plot and whatnot, I have no idea what entails. Of course, the movie that I'll be watching for this video is Full Metal Jacket from 1987. Again, other than the things that I just mentioned, I don't know anything about this film. Except for actually, I do know that it is directed by Stanley Kubrick and I have watched a few of his movies at this point. <laughs> So yeah, interested to see what this movie is all about, because it's a war movie, it's probably gonna be pretty harsh, so that I can kind of figure. So with that, if you're here watching right now, I really do appreciate you and thank you for watching. And to everybody over on Patreon, I really do appreciate you over there as well. Thank you so much for being there, thank you so much for your support, and I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos, the access to the polls, and access to other reactions that aren't yet cut for YouTube. If you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. I also have a tier over there that is solely for the polls, which are ran every single Friday, and that is $2 a month for that. I also have a seven day free trial available over on Patreon if you would like to take a crack at watching these full reactions. So yeah, the more that I think about it, the more that this movie is probably going to be pretty heavy, so I am proceeding with caution. <laughs> I guess with that, let's get on into it. Really do hope that you guys like this reaction, and I shall see you on the other side. Enjoy. Oh, damn. Going right into it. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting the hair shaved. What's your name, scumbag? Sir, Brown and Brown, sir! Bullshit! From now on, you're Private Snowball. Do you like that name? Sir, uh, yes, sir! Well, there's one thing that you won't like, Private Snowball. They don't serve fried chicken and watermelon on a daily basis in my mess hall. Jesus. Sir, uh, yes, sir! That you, John Wayne? Is this me? Who said that? Oh, God. I wouldn't even test the waters with this man. And you're gonna try to be, like, funny like this? Hell no. What have we got here? A fucking comedian. Private Joker. Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. Oh, my God. <laughs> you had best unfuck yourself or I will unscrew your head and check down your neck. Sir, yes, sir. Private Joker, why did you join my beloved corps? Sir, to kill, sir. So you're a killer? Sir, yes, sir. Let me see your war face. Ah! You don't scare me. Work on it. Sir, yes, sir. Work on it. You know, if you're joining the military to kill, that's pretty concerning, actually. You know what I mean? Like, if, you're, if that's your motivation, I don't think you should be there. You know? Where in hell are you from anyway, Private? Sir, Texas, sir! Holy dog shit! Texas only steers and queers come from Texas, private cowboy! And you don't <laughs> much look like a steer for that kind of and queers? Do you suck dicks? Sir, no, sir! Are you a Peter Pepper? Sir, no, sir! I bet you're the kind of guy that would <laughs> fuck a person in the ass and not even have the goddamn common courtesy to give him a reach around. <laughs> oh my god, insane, insane. Do you suck dicks? Sir, no, sir! <laughs> Bullshit, I'll bet you can suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Sir, oh no, my sir. god! I don't like the name Lawrence, only f***ers and sailors are called Lawrence. Lord. From now on, you're Gomer Pyle. Sir, yes, sir. Do you Gomer think I'm Pyle. Pyle? Do you think I'm funny? Sir, no, sir. Then wipe that disgusting grin. That's Vincent D'Onofrio. <laughs> now choke yourself. Wow. God damn it, with my hand, I'm nuts. That's enough. Get on your feet. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, that's gonna be hell. What up? Shoulder! Huh. Oh. Oh, boy. Private Pyle, what are you trying to do to my beloved car? Oh. What side was that, Private Damn. Pyle? Sir, left side, sir! Are you sure, Private Pyle? Sir, yes, sir! What Damn. side was that, Private Pyle? Sir, right side, sir! Huh. Oh, boy, oh, boy, you're... Uh what happened? What did you do now to deserve this? Your pukes will sleep with your rifle. You will give your rifle a girl's name because this is the only pussy you people are going to get. Oh your God. days of finger banging 
Old Mary Jane Rottencrotch to her pretty pink panties are over! Oh my god! This is my rifle! There are many like it, but this one is mine! It's my rifle! This is my gun! This is for fun! And this is for fun! Ha! I have no of this. Pick two for Go! Quickly! Get your fat ass over there, front pile! Oh god. I'll bet you if there was some pussy up there on top of that office go you could get up there, couldn't you? Pull! Pull, pile, pull! Ah, uh, God. I don't think a uh, pile's making it. Uh. Get up and over! Move it, move it, move it! I'm gonna rip your balls off! Oh so you cannot God. contaminate the rest of the world! Not contaminate the rest of the world. Move it up! Oh, I just don't see this ending well. Quickly, ladies! Man. Harsh, harsh, harsh. At least they're helping him and, you know, dragging him along. Drop your cocks and grab your socks. <laughs> Private Joker, do you believe in the Virgin Mary? Sir, no, sir! Oh, uh-oh, wrong answer. Oh, you little maggot! You make me want to vomit! Damn. Now you do love the Virgin Mary, don't you? Sir, negative, sir! Private oh, Joker, are you trying to offend me? Sir, negative, sir! Sir, the private believes that any answer he gives will be wrong, and the senior drill instructor will beat him harder if he reverses himself, sir! Who's your squad leader, scumbag? Well? Private Snowball, you're fired! Private Joker oh. is promoted to squad leader! Private Pile, from now on, Private Joker is your new squad leader, and you will bunk with him! He'll teach you everything! Well, I mean... The bolt. The bolt goes in the receiver. It was fair to him to kind of like assume that. It's just like if I switch my answer now, I'm gonna give beat the fuck up even more, you know? So at least the drill instructor, I guess, technically admired that since he just got promoted. <laughs> Alright. There you go. There we go. Congratulations, Leonard. You did it. You know, it's nice that he's teaching him literally everything, yeah. Order! Ha! I guess it's relatively surprising that he's being given a chance like this, you know? I'm glad, but considering how much of a hard ass the drill sergeant is and how this environment is, you know? Jesus H. Christ. Why is your footlocker unlocked? Sir, I don't know, sir. Let's just see if there's anything missing. Damn. Holy Jesus. What is that? What oh, the fuck is that? Oh, no. What is that, Private Pile? Sir, jelly donut, sir. A jelly donut? Sir, yes, sir. Oh, God, it's the worst thing that could have happened. Private Pile? has dishonored himself and dishonored the platoon. Damn. From now on, whenever Private Pile fucks up, I will not punish him. I will punish all of you. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, nine, That's three, wild. Four, one, two, three, four. Everybody hates me now. Well. Nobody hates you, Leonard. Just keep making mistakes, getting everybody in trouble. One, two, three, twenty-three. One, two, three, twenty-four. Man, what happened now? Um, hmm. You know, this will not be good. Oh shit! They're all gonna gang up on him and beat him up. Oh, 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 wow. <laughs> Damn, everybody's in on it. That's crazy. <laughs> well, that was awful. I can't hear you. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, shit, I still can't hear you. Anybody know who Lee Harvey Oswald was? 
Oswald got off three rounds with an old Italian bolt-action rifle in only six seconds. Do any of you people know where these individuals learned how to shoot? Sir, in the Marines, sir! Those individuals showed what one motivated Marine and his rifle can do. And before you ladies leave my island, you will all be able to do the same thing. Mm, don't like this. Don't like this at all. I think that um, Mr. Pyle, aka Lawrence, is going to snap. Happy birthday, dear Jesus. <laughs> Did not expect the name Jesus uh, to be said. <laughs> God has a heart on for Marine. <laughs> God has a heart on. Okay. So that it slides perfectly. Nice. Everything clean. Outstanding, Private Pile. I think we finally found something that you do well. Wow. That's crazy. And also, um, concerning. Private Pile, you are definitely born again hard. Hell, I may even allow you to serve as a rifleman in my beloved corps. Sir, yes, sir. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well... I'm glad he turned around, but again, I'm just, I have this very bad feeling. <laughs> Most of you will go to Vietnam. Mm. Some of you will not come back. Mm. Cover pile! Sir, yes, sir! All 300 infantry, you made it. Perkins! Sir, wow. yes, sir! Mmm, man. All right. Okay. I, mm. Yeah, this uh, music and the unsettling sort of feeling. Yeah, that's the unsettling sort of feeling here. <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, oh, oh boy. Oh no. Are those live rounds? Seven, six, two millimeter. <sighs> Full metal jacket. I hate this. I hate this. This is not good. This is my rifle! There are many like it, but this one is mine! Oh. Why is Private Pyle holding that weapon? Why aren't you stopping Private Pyle's guts out? Sir, it is the private's duty to inform the senior drill instructor that Private Pyle has a full magazine and is locked and loaded, sir! Now you listen to me. Private pile. Oh, he is. I don't. Someone's dying. I don't know. Didn't mommy and daddy show you enough attention when you were a child? Yeah. 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 Oh. Uh, wow. Damn. Jesus. <sighs> yeah, I saw that coming. God, that's fucked. Well, definitely saw something like that coming. That was quite the build-up to that. <sighs> Just pushed and pushed and pushed. And he snapped. Sad. Just sad. Yes. Wow, well, baby. Me so horny. Uh, <laughs> what do we get for $10? Everything you want. Oh, yep. Yep. Wow! Uh, <laughs> wow! All right, well, goodbye, camera. You know what really pisses me off about these people? Why? We're supposed to be helping them, and they shit all over us every chance they get. I just can't feature that. Well... I definitely have my comments about the Vietnam War, but anyway. And Margaret and Entourage are due here next week. You get me some good low angle stuff. Don't make it too obvious, but I want to see fur and early morning dew. Yes, sir. What in the eh? Anyway. I got to get back in the shit. I ain't heard a shot fired in anger in weeks. That ain't not going. Oh, man. 
Well, time to get in the shit. Wow, you know? Yeah, they all kind of just came in one direction and... Oh, man. I, I want you to get straight up to Fubai and Joker. You will take off that damn button. How's it gonna look if you get killed wearing a peace symbol? Sir, <laughs> permission to go with Joker? You're responsible for it. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, I have a bad feeling about that. Don't think he's gonna come back alive. See, you know, I'm just thinking of the worst possible things, and I've been right so far, because it's a war movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Just, 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 just shooting. Just whatever. Get some, get some, come on. Get Damn. Get some, get some. Literally. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Just, just. Yep. This is. Yeah. I've done got me 157 dead goops killed and 50 water buffaloes too. Ain't war hell. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Oof. Isn't that just so much fun? Isn't that just great? Literally people working in a field and they're just gonna shoot them like it's like a fun game. It's like, like deranged. It's just fucking insane. But, um, anyway. <laughs> and then you go back to, like, when, say, when they're saying, like, oh, you know, we're helping and trying to protect these people, but they hate us here. Exhibit A as to why. Exhibit A out of A, B, C, D, E, F. The list goes on. We heard some scuttlebutt, sir, about the NBA executing a lot of Gook civilians. That's affirmative. I saw some buddies about a half a click this side of Fukam Canal. Can you show me where, sir? Ironic to be wearing that peace pin, you know? And then also have a helmet. That's saying, born to kill. Jeez. Reen, what is that button on your body armor? Um, a peace symbol, sir. What is that you've got written on your helmet? Born to kill, sir. You write born to kill on your helmet and you wear a peace button. Wow. <laughs> I just said this. Holy shit. Oh my <laughs> such a joke. Oh, you seen much combat? <laughs> now, you might not believe it, but under fire, Animal Mother is one of the finest human beings in the animal world. Animal Mother. That's a very interesting nickname, code name. <laughs> hey, photographer. This is my bro. Uh, um. Yeah, I had a feeling. Happy birthday, Zipperhead. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. It's uh, so much to say, but not at all, I guess. It's wild to be walking like this, not even fully knowing if there's a mine underneath your feet coming up. Yeah, it's terrifying. Oh boy. Oh shit. Wow. I guess it was like shrapnel from whatever exploded in front of them? Maybe? Yeah. Oh damn. Yeah, just getting lit up. Oh shit. Wow. Oh, well, everybody's heard. Not the bird is the word. What in the world? Did not anticipate to hear this song. <laughs> Wasn't this considered the first war, like, recorded, on tape, kind of, like, documented in this way? CHG Rock can be a rock! Oh, 
Yeah, Margaret. Animal mother can be a rabid buffalo. I'll be General Custer. I guess you gotta find uh, <laughs> humor in the trauma. <laughs> It's all a fucked up situation, though. It is. Multiple levels of it. And it's just what war is. Damn. Better you than me. Thanks. That's nice. I'm not real keen on some of these fellas that are supposedly on our side. I keep meeting them coming the other way. I, uh, I wanted to meet interesting and stimulating people of an ancient culture and kill them. I wanted to be the first kid on my block to get a confirmed kill. He's such a shitter. Jesus. Yeah, again, I mean, this is clearly, of course, it's a war movie, but it's also, yeah, it's very, a lot of politics, you know, especially of during the time and are still discussed today as we discuss history and everything. And it's, whew. Sucky, funky, smoky, red in a pushy. She, give you everything you want. We need a bat or I'm going first. And I'm back off, white man. Don't get between so the dog up. and his meat. All fucking n must fucking hang. Oh, hey, oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, I won't be long. I'll skip the foreplay. Hey, hey. Oh, man, yeah. So, <laughs> woo, a lot can be said about that, can it? <laughs> So many levels of just fucked up. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it happened. It's messed up. It's crazy. You ain't all these type of people, but, if, you know, if I could get something out of it, I'll, I'll take advantage. Yeah. 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 I was literally just about to say, there's probably something nearby or he's gonna get shot. Murph, this is Cowboy. Craze's hit. I'm squad leader. Wow, yep. Damn. It's always interesting when there's like a mine involved cause like sometimes people just drop, you know? I'm always like interested to see like what actually kills them, you know? Because, like, of course, like, sometimes flames get blown the hell up. But sometimes people just drop and there's nothing, you know, apparently wrong with them. But it's, like, it'll be a mix of different things, I guess. But it's, you know what I mean? We're heading over that way. Hey, Ball's gonna go over there and see, can he find a way through? Oh, he's gonna get dropped. Oh, boy. Okay, then save your ammo. Nobody fire till I tell you. Oh, no, no, shit. I've requested tank support. We're going to sit tight till it comes, but keep your eyes open. If they decide to hit us, we'll have to pull back fast. Oh, God. Man. Cease your fucking fire. You don't even know where he is, man. That sniper's just trying to suck us in one at a time! Ow. I know, it's a tough, horrible situation, but... Fuck this shit! I'm going in to bring him out! No, you I'm sit there! Oh, down. God, there's no order, there's no order. Oh, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, man. Yeah, this is... Oh, boy. Oh, oh yep, exactly. Yeah. You can't see the sniper! Right. Save exactly. the ammo. Nobody fire till I tell you. Yep. Nobody. Now you got two guys who are dead, basically. Can't afford to wait for the tank. I think they're gonna hit us any minute. When they do, we won't have time to pull out. We gotta do it now. Wait a minute! And hold it! Hold it! Nobody's pulling out! There's only one fucking sniper out there! You don't know that. Fuck you, cowboy! Fuck all you assholes! All right, bye, mother. Oh, where's God. the sniper? Oh, shit. Shit. Fuck. Ha. Yeah. Well, now you know where it is. There's only one sniper, nothing else. I, I don't. 
oh, I don't know about this. I don't think it is. You don't, you don't fully know. Yeah, it's really a play it safe versus take the risk to see if it is just one sniper. But you never know. It literally could go poorly either way. Give me that radio. Murphy, this is cowboy over. I was about to say there's a giant hole in the side. Yeah. Yeah. Cowboy! Holy shit, that's not Get in the Get in the Guys, it's right the window. Yeah, I I am so I was literally just about to say there's a giant hole in the wall. Oh god. Yeah, this is bad. Cowboy. Oh man. Yeah. Oh god. Terrible. Let's go get some payback. You know, politics aside and everything involving this war particularly, it's like these people are here forcibly and they literally just have to, like, survive, you know? <sighs> that is like any war, though. It's just like being drafted and everything. It's like they're literally forced to be here, forced to fight for something that they may or may not believe in, forced to make really shitty decisions. And to kill. And this movie is really showing that messy messiness. Pretty much all war movies do, of course, but like this is this has gotten to, into like the nitty gritty a little, you know? Oh, wow. No shot. Wow. Wow. The fact that he didn't get hit is insane. So, wow. Was that really the only person? A child? That's messed up. We got the sniper! And the fact that they're still moving on the ground is insane. I saved your ass. <laughs> I got the sniper. I, I fucking blew her away! <laughs> yeah, I, I... I'm a bad... What she's saying? She's praying. Fuck her. Let her rot. We can't just leave her here. Man. If you want to waste her, go on. Well, from what we know, that's his first confirmed kill, I guess. Everything else was ambiguous, a little. Fucking hardcore. <sighs> wow. I'm in a world of shit. Yes. But I am alive, and I am not afraid. What a song to end with. Well, actually, what a song to end with right now. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, as expected, that was definitely a heavy, messed up film. But considering what happened in this movie... Uh, I can probably say that it's pretty accurate to how specifically this war was. From, you know, my knowledge and everything. Every war is messed up, but specifically this one had its specific atrocities that uh, this film definitely highlighted. And I don't think the right phrase is I'm glad, but like, I'm glad that they showed those like really messed up things in a way because it is accurate you know but yeah messed up just really just messed up sorts of things and it makes you feel gross honestly
Of course, again, every single war has its politics attached to it. I feel like this war especially does. <laughs> And if I dive into talking about specifically the politics of this war, this would be a very long video. And I also, I feel, am not necessarily equipped to do that in a way. Like I can, but I am not going to. <laughs> I said what I said throughout the reaction and now I'm here and I'm just gonna talk about the actual movie itself, you know? <laughs> which I thought was well done. Again, I, it was uh, tough. It was a tough watch because it was, you know, war. It was something that happened. It depicted accurate things to what we know happened there. And it was, again, it was just, it was rough. It was messy. It was messed up. It was, you know, emotional and just crazy, you know? from the time of training and the harshness of that and showing all of that craziness and to the apex of that where Gomer shot the drill instructor and then himself to the war itself. And it felt like a long movie in a way because of those sort of just like separate things, separate events and locations and whatnot, like totally different locations in a way. Uh, but it also didn't feel long. Like I think the first like 40 minutes did and then afterwards as they were in Vietnam, it, it felt, you know, it flowed more to me or it just, it was not necessarily quicker, but it felt quicker, I guess. And that's not a negative nor necessarily a positive. It's just, you know, again, a common uh, observation for me and my experience watching this. And again, there's a lot that can be talked about, again, just like politics aside and talking about specifically that, that's a, you know, a huge conversation to have, but also just the way that, you know, these soldiers acted and their, their coping, you know, mechanisms and everything and just the situation and the, the emotions and this psychology of it all. And it's, it's something that can be talked about and analyzed not necessarily even just with this film and this event but any war any war movie any you know etc so it's definitely a lot in that way and it's definitely heavy in that way but again it was I think you know well done and it, it, it addressed a bunch of different stuff and it was just it was a lot honestly it was very heavy <laughs> And again, I wouldn't use this phrase of like, I enjoyed it because like I did, but there was so much travesty and insanity that it was just like, you know, so like it was, it was good. It was well done. I was interested in it. Uh, it, it was entertaining in that way. Uh, so I did because of that enjoyed it. <laughs> And I guess with that, I hope that you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did enjoy the reaction, please feel free to like the video. And if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. And of course, if you wanted to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. And to those of you who are already on Patreon, I really do appreciate you over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos, the access to the polls, and access to other reactions that aren't yet cut for YouTube. If you want to find me outside of YouTube, you can absolutely do so. You can find me pretty much anywhere at OGB Reacts. I'm mainly over on Twitter, but I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. So yeah, again, this was definitely well done overall. Definitely heavy, messed up, real, clearly real, you know, <laughs> uh, but it was a good watch and a necessary watch. This is also one of those situations where I feel like I can say more, but this would just continue on and on for a while, I guess. <laughs> With that, again, really do hope that you guys enjoyed the reaction, and I hope to see you all in the next reaction video, whatever that may be. Okie dokie, toodaloo, adios, and goodbye. Bye.